Ogo, she was involved in a road traffic accident and she dislocated her right arm. For five months, she has been unable to use that right arm. While you were ministering, the power of God touched her. For the first time in five months, she has been moving the arm. The pain that was associated with it has you disappeared. You have not moved the arm. Come, lady. Do what you could not do for five months. She couldn't do this for five months. Are you giving Jesus a hand? You are not clapping. Listen. She couldn't do this for five months. You couldn't do it for five months. The hand. Move it again. Give Jesus a hand. See, look at her, no pain. See the way you are clapping. Is that how you clap? The power of the Holy Ghost. On the 2nd of January, while people were celebrating the new year, she developed a degenerative disease of the spine. She was rushed to the Mother, hospital. Mother, don't cry now. You got as healed, you are crying. Pastor, she was rushed to the hospital. They attended to her, but to no avail. Since that 2nd of January up to today, she has been with the pain. She is crying because of what God has done for her. The power of the Lord hit her. The pain no pain. there is Give gone. Jesus a hand. Pastor, for the past 11 years, this young lady had deaf. She is completely deaf on the left ear. You were but, deaf but, on the one ear? Yes, for the past 11 years. I spoke to her ears and she could hear my close, voice. Close the right. Close the right. Wait, close it. Give her the microphone. Doctor, talk from behind. Go back a little bit. Can you hear the doctor? Can you hear? Yes. No, if you can hear, talk. Can you hear? Yes. Talk again. Let her hear you. She asked me, what is my name? You can hear it. Give Jesus a hand. Heart problem. She said she has heart palpitation. That's the awareness of the heartbeat. Normally, you are not supposed to be aware of your heartbeat. But if there is a pathology, a disease in the heart, you become aware of the heartbeat. She also described a pain that looks like a heart pain radiating to the shoulder. Pastor, as you gave the word of knowledge, the power of the Lord hit her. All the symptoms that she came, this me. Give Jesus a Oh. She came to this healing school with a splitting headache. She said she has had it as long as she can remember. Also, when she looks at bright light, she tears. That is photophobia. But right in this healing school, God the bright her. light is gone. Yes, uh, give Jesus a... Pastor, for yes. the past six years, she has been unable to squat without pain. She has gone for to six the... years? Yes, sir. You couldn't do that without pain? Yes, squat, no pain? No pain. Give Jesus a hand. Yes. Pastor, this woman says that for five years, she had been in severe pains, discomfort, and she had experienced severe weakness. She said she was a trader before now. But because of that illness, she had to quit her business. She was not doing any work anymore. She was carried into this place by someone. Somebody said, carried you here. You're yes, standing on your own. She, are you not giving Jesus? Are you hearing? They carried her inside and you are here standing. She's not only standing. She's walking. Listen. Which they, she could not do before. They carried her in. And here she is standing. The word of knowledge of someone that was deaf. This young lady develop what we call loss of hearing for the past 11 years. She just woke up. This is the sister that came with her to church. She said for 11 years, the sister could not hear with the right ear. But she has been testing, close the ear that she has been hearing with. She has been calling her name. She has been answering. She has been can, responding. You can hear the now. Is gone. You can hear. Close the one you, you, you used to hear with before. Uh, your sister talk. Can you hear? Can you hear? Fourteen. How are you? Come. She has a mind problem? She has a mind problem? You have a mind problem. It's not just deafness. When God heals, he heals all. I command your foul spirit, both your eyes, take up your, talk of, lift your glasses. The eyes, the mind, and everything. I command you in the name of Jesus. You devil. Out of her in Jesus' name. Now talk to her, she'll be very sound. How are you? 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 Give Jesus a hand. Pastor, 
Last year, this man developed a partial stroke and was unable to move the right side of his body. He said he was prayed for and he was now able to use the lower limbs. However, he was unable to use his right arm. He couldn't lift it. He came for the healing school expecting God to touch him. The power of God has touched him. He can move his move, arm. Move the hand. You couldn't move that hand? You couldn't move that hand? Yes, sir. Do what you could not do before. Can you, you can, see, he couldn't do that before. Are you giving Jesus a hand? Yes. Pastor, this little girl, her name is Sharon. She is six years old. When she was five, suddenly she lost all capacity to stand. The mother was carrying her. In fact, she was carried to this event. Right in this event. So this is the first time she's standing. This is the first time for this. Are you giving Sunday. Jesus? She's Baby. working. Baby, go. She's working. Go. She's working. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, send the light. For you to be carrying a child as big as this, you know the what problem? Baby, Pastor. how are you? You're fine? What's your name? Sharon. Are you happy? You're very happy? Eh? Oh. The mother is also crying. It's not funny to carry a child of this age without walking. You, lo you go back to school. You go back to school. Don't cry, mother. You go back to school. Eh, baby, I think you go back to school. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I command full strength on the two legs. <sighs> Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Uh, don't be doing like that. Are you happy? You happy? Please share with me. For the past two years, she had a visible mass on her breasts. Right in this service, the mass has disappeared. All the mustache signs and symptoms disappeared, hey. and she is free. Press it, no, no lump. Press it now, no lump. No lump, no lump. It's gone. Give Jesus a hand. Pastor, this young man, during the teachings, you used him as an illustration. He said even when you called him out to use him as an illustration, he came in with right-sided deafness. He couldn't hear you properly. But the moment you left him, the, the deafness that was bad, the ear that was bad before, the ear head was restored. He also had seizures intermittently. And as you called him out to use it for illustration, all the assisted symptoms he was experiencing while he was sitting down, they are completely gone. Give Jesus a shout! Yes. Pastor, yes. she said a year ago she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And as a result of... Which of them had cancer? The lady, mama? yes, mama, and after that, she had to have a surgery done and subsequently chemotherapy. Following the chemotherapy, she had a side effect where she could no longer walk and she was aided to the service. While you were ministering, the power of God touched her. Mama is not just walking, she was dancing just right now. Will you get that? Listen, listen, they brought somebody we are ministering to with cervical cancer. Medically, they gave up on the lady. She was taken to one of the best hospitals in Nigeria. They said, no way. It's medically hopeless. You heard this one now, that she could not stand. She's dancing now. Now strength enters, Malcolm, strength enters your body. Hold on. <laughs> Father, give her life and strength. Let strength go through this body. And every damaged part of cancer be destroyed. Amen. Now replaced with new body. Amen. Strength goes into you. In Jesus name. Pastor, yes. for 10 years, this young lady was unable to see far objects. Medically, it's called myopia. The power of God has touched her during the healing school. She can read. We've examined her. She's completely made whole. God is a good God in the name of Jesus. Pastor, you had a word of knowledge of someone that have a somatiform disorder. 
That is the movement of object, the feeling of sensation of movement of object all over the body. This mama here said for the past 10 months, she has had the feeling of movement of object all over the body accompanying with an abnormality that's a hormonal imbalance in which when people are feeling cold, she will feel hot. When people are feeling hot, she will feel cold. But the power of the Lord have hit her. The somatophone disorder is gone. The hormonal imbalance is corrected. She's feeling normal the way everybody's feeling. Praise the Will Lord. Will you give Jesus a hand? Papa, for 15 years, Mama shared with me she has not been able to walk unaided with this for walking aid. For 15 years, Mama. Yes, but today, as the word of knowledge help and fell. That's what you walk with, Mama? For 15, are you the daughter? You are the daughter? Yes, sir. Mama, she has English? Yes. No, Mama, no. Eh? And uh, yes, yeah, small. Yeah, small, small. Mine from where? I'm uh, from uh, Rema. Rema is equally. Um, 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 ah, in that body. That body. Uh, Odioka. Odioka. Okay. I speak every language. <laughs> Mama, you don't well. God don't I heal well. you. I well. I well. And we don't know how we will speak yes. the English. Yes. Uh, Mama, everywhere. Live. Every day they pain you. Today it don't clear. It don't clear. God. <laughs> Mama, God, God bless you. Bless your daughter will brought you. And will make you whole in Jesus' name. 15 years ago, Mama was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis, which is a degenerative condition of the spine. After that, Mama lost the use of her body. Mama could not write. Mama could not start. She could not kneel. She was dependent on her daughter for her daily activities. Well, Pastor, for the first time in 15 years, Mama has been standing for 30 minutes. Mama can now kneel. Hold it. Hold on. For 30 minutes. Yes, sir. For the first time in 15 in years. In 15 years. Pastor, her daughter has something to say. What is it? Yes. She has been standing for 30 minutes here. She couldn't do that before. And I, when the administration was on, I gave her my pen to write. She was able to write her name. Before, she couldn't do that. It would just fall down. But now she, and she was able to kneel down and for stand up. 15 for 15 years. years. For 15, 15 years. years. Hallelujah. Pastor. Yes. There's another outstanding testimony. Yes. Pastor, in 2016, he developed a neck mass in lipoma, and he had a surgery. Following the surgery, he had a contracture. You can see it on his neck. That's an abnormal healing. And since then, he said there was also a nerve damage. That's a neuropathy. And since then, for six years, since 2016, he has been unable to move his neck up and down. But for, for six years, he can't do a neck like that. For six years. When God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Do what you could not do for six years. The way you clap is the clapping. <laughs> Young man, God loves you. Miracles are just happening like simple. When God healed you, that one, he was healing everyone. When he speaks to one, the power of the Holy Ghost go through you. Pfft, in Jesus' name. Go ahead and enjoy your life. Pastor. Yes. Four months ago, this little boy developed abdominal swelling. The whole abdomen was distended and swollen, and it was very painful. Besides that, it was very tender. It means nobody could touch the abdomen. The mother, if she tried to touch, he felt pain. If he tried to touch, he felt pain. In this healing school, the swelling of the abdomen completely disappeared. All the pain is gone. Pastor, you can see I'm no touching pain. him freely. No he has pain. Been touching the mother is Give touching. Give Jesus a hand. 